Well, Clark, first and foremost, I mean, obviously looking at the team without Marquise, you know, you had talked a little bit about, you know, where things kind of set up. What have you seen from from Marquise Hodge not having Sproul in the center? What has he kind of shown you as far as leadership-wise? Well, I think uh, just being a freshman, you know, his leadership needs to be uh, his example. And I've been impressed with that. Um, you know, I think physically he's done some things for us on the field that, that, are, that are special. Um, that you know, he brings a presence out there uh, at the point of attack, even though he's a little small, you know, he packs a punch and he can strike it. Uh, and that those things are positive. So he brought some energy in that respect. You know, he's still earning the trust of his coaches, but maybe more importantly, his teammates. And so um, from a vocal leadership standpoint, I think he's commanded the field well, set the front, and making adjustments. Um, as far as a kind of a big picture leadership um, angle, you know, I think he's still kind of in the, in the uh, phase where he's just earning his way. You know, when that, that position's so important, that Mike position, and you know, the quarterback of the defense, so to speak. Where do you want to see him get to? I mean, is he as vocal as he needs to be right now? I mean, is, is he calling out what he needs to? And I know you talked about making adjustments, but mm-hmm. how is he kind of reading everything, being young in the game as far as the college side of things? You know, I would say he's about where I would expect him to. You know, and I don't mean to make that a great answer. I just, you know, again, my work with him is going to be, and whoever that Mike ends up being, you know, is going to be uh, feverish until we tee the ball off. And then once we get in that arena, you know, you kind of find out, is he where you wanted him to be? I would say this. I've been impressed with his ability to manage the install and to get himself lined up and to get the front set, like I said. We haven't had a lot of errors uh, in terms of that. And still be able to play fast, you know. Um, I think the next level for him is through the summer, through the end of spring, into the summer, and then obviously the fall camp. That he, that he develops a big piece of understanding of what we want to get done. And that will allow him to help us to get everybody lined up and roll in the right direction. When you have Cam Lynch and you have Dyshawn Davis, how do they aid somebody like him having had the experience and you know being on his sides flanking him? Yeah. What have you seen them do to kind of help him to be where he needs to be? Well, at uh, time, you know, and I would say uh, that, you know, Dyshawn works kind of functions in the field. So he's a little bit removed from that box world, but um, you know I've heard many times Cam uh, take take charge, take the wheel in the box, and get them lined up. And at times, if, if uh, we're we're late setting the front, you know, I hear Cam step up and, and make the call. And so that is a huge asset to have him in there. And I think one reason for not wanting to move Cam is that he can play with that confidence, knowing what he's going to have to do on the snap, and then also help him kind of manage the box. As far as the, the growth of the guys in your first season here, from where they were throughout the season to where they are now, where have you seen the biggest improvements? I mean, are there certain guys that you really think have stepped up or maybe something that's stuck out to you so far, knowing how they ended the season and how they came into the spring? Yeah, you know, I would just say this, uh, and I'm, I'm going to actually go back to the last spring uh, when I first got here, this time last year. The dynamic of the room has completely changed. Um, you know, I do very little or spend very little time on extraneous things. Uh, they're, they're buttoned up, they're squared away, they're where they're supposed to be, when they're supposed to be there, they're accountable. And so we've really been able to take our learning to the next level from a football standpoint. When we get in a meeting, when we dig in, and we, we talk ball. And it's been a lot of fun to see those guys, the light bulb come on. Uh, you know, uh, I can remember this time last year as we were still feeling each other out, and they were learning about the standards and expectations that I was going to bring. That, um, you know, we, we had to take our time and really uh, make sure we were on the same page for a lot of this stuff. So we've been a lot more efficient this spring. Um, I saw that growth through the season, you know, through the fall. But anytime you can hit the reset button in the winter and, and uh, yeah. you know, you, you, you grow new leadership. And, uh, and, 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 you know, I've got, I've got some guys that, that have done a great job that are kind of staring down into their career now that want to be... Uh, someone who's looked upon by their teammates uh, for, for direction. And that always lends itself to like a more fluid and efficient uh, room. So I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy, I think. Fundamentally, uh, it's night and day from last spring. Uh, just in the drill work that we've been doing, uh, we've been able to progress astronomically. Um, and uh, so I'm excited. Yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun this spring, really. Has.
when you say the guys that are staring down, knowing that the end of their career is coming and they want to make that mark and they earn that respect, who who are some of those guys that you've really felt that from? Well, Dyson Davis, Cam Lynch, uh, and then and then Josh Kirkland has had a little bit of uh, uh, bad luck here early, but um, you know he, he's a guy that football is really important to. That you know this is going to be his last shot. He wants to leave the mark and. and uh, and Luke Arsenega, too, who's been hampered and won't really be back in full for the fall, you know, and it's eating him up, but uh, he's another guy that, that, that'll be uh, anxious to take a leadership role. From what you took away from Josh Kirkland and Luke Arsenega, even though they've had to battle injury and, and deal with some problems, where do you kind of see them fitting in? I mean, do you still, even though maybe you don't have them full strength all the time, when you look at the fall, do you feel like they're going to be in that mix for you and that they've kind of earned a, a spot there? There. Yeah, I think I think earned the right to compete. I would say that for for everyone, and, and I want the incoming freshmen to feel that way too. You know, I don't want um, you know no self-imposed limitations. There, there's no one that we're going to say, hey, you know, we're going to put you on the back burner right now because there are other guys coming up. When we're in the, the fall practice or spring practice, um, you know, when you get your reps, you go out there and compete. Uh, you make an impression, you interview, you say every day's an interview, right? And so I expect those guys, when they're back, uh, Josh, hopefully on Friday, and then Luke, uh, they'll jump right back in and, and, and be rare to go. And then, you know, the influx of pressure will increase the pool. You know, you have, so it should be awesome. What's it like for you knowing that you have such a, a big pool that, that you'll be in in the fall, but you're kind of swimming in a smaller pond right yeah. now? What's that like to you? I mean, are you catching yourself looking ahead or, or wanting some more? No, I mean, you know, no, there, there's, there's enough to do uh, right in front of us uh, that, that we, um, you know, that, that uh, you, don't, you don't really look ahead. The only thing you do is you make sure you can kind of have a plan in place for those freshmen to get acclimated and acclimated. Um, but um, I think that the limited school right now is helpful because we got guys that need to play a lot of football and need to develop fundamentally, and they get uh, some more one-on-one attention. You know? uh, and I think it's specifically about like Howard there who's really advanced himself um, a lot this spring. And, and so that growth he's experienced this spring will be compounded over the summer. And I expect in the fall that, again, he will be in that pool one to compete for us. So it's just it's, it's a good thing. And um, and I also see that a guy like Alec, who, who uh, can, can really uh, build a solid foundation in the spring, will be helpful to the freshman of the fall as well, you know, because he can slow it down and actually teach some and, and be there to help them and kind of walk them along the process. So it's going to be a good thing. And lastly, as far as you going into, you know, now kind of knowing what you're dealing with, knowing a lot of these guys, the veterans that you have, the leaders that you have, that you've had on the linebacker core, when you go into this season, how do you kind of look at yourself as a coach and, and your mission? I mean, has anything changed or maybe grown about you that, that you take into this season and can sense that difference? Yeah, I think, well, I think you're always looking, as a coach, you're looking to adapt and change and grow. And, um, you know, certainly... Uh, it, it's funny, I was, I was talking to Sri Pizza this morning, the Abate, who helps me, you know, just, uh, um, it's almost every day I wake up, I come in with, with a slightly new angle or a new approach on something, just because you have to take time to think about it and spend time, uh, uh, you know, in, in your craft, but whatever the case, you know, I think year one, it was a little bit of a scramble just to get everybody lined up, get the defense in. Year two, we're, we're, we're going to turn inward a little more and, and see if we can grow as people together, a cohesive unit, and uh, the fun we have is going to be an executing defense and having success together, and we've seen that through the spring, so um, that's, what, that's how I respond to that.